Guys, before I get into this review, I gotta go on a tangent. I actually really like these boxes that these figures are coming in. Hold on, let me move up for a second here. But I'm actually really enjoying these boxes. I like the art on them. I think they're pretty cool boxes. I don't really care about the boxes, but these boxes have impressed me. Oh yeah, so, sorry about the tangent. We have a beginning of there. But uh, yeah, today I'll be reviewing Kingdom Huffer. I've been reviewing a lot of old figures lately, so why not review a new one? So, uh, first things first, let's look at these weapons. Why don't we? Now, I like the shield. I love how it looks. I do love how it look looks. But one thing I don't like is that you can't really hold it like a, like a, like a, like a, like a SWAT shield. You can't really hold it like that because it doesn't have a handle. But I do, but here's the thing. I do like the reflector shields better because they have a handle for them to hold. Hold it. But yeah, because, well, here's the thing with the reflector shields. They're kind of rounded off, unlike his. Also, his is shaped like this for a reason. So yeah, it's a gimmick. Uh, I guess we can get the size comparisons because I have have a good old reflector out right now. So yeah, let me play back at the shield. I'll talk about the weapon later, again later. So in terms of uh, size comparisons, here's him. Here he is next to reflector. Reflector is a bit taller than him. That's reflector. Here he is next to Cyclonus. He is very tiny compared to Cyclonus. Here he is next to Skywarp. Eh, smaller than Skywarp. Here he is next to Arachnonite. I was going to do a review on Arachnonite, but I changed my mind. I wanted to do Huffer instead. There's Arachnonite. Here he is next to Hot Rod. A figure that I might do a review on. I don't know, though. Here he is next to two other small box. Uh... Bumblebee and Warpath. Now Warpath is taller than Huffer and Bumblebee combined. So yeah, uh, but if we're going by like in terms of like if we if we count hit Huffer's hood, then yeah, him and Warpath are about the same size. If we count Huffer's hood up to a sight height, but no, I won't count to the to the head. So yeah, he is taller. Let's get rid of this two on the frame real quick. All right. Now, in terms of uh, in terms of what I think about his gun, I do like his gun design, but I do think I have one problem with it. It's kind of generic. It's kind of a generic blaster, you know. I mean, I do like it, the design, but it's kind of generic in my opinion. Not really unique. I feel like I'd see this in like a like a video game somewhere. It's like a generic rifle or something, but it's a nice little gun for Huffer. So yeah, let's take off these weapons real quick and get down to articulation. Thank you, Huffer. Now, in terms of articulation for a good old Huffer here, he can move his arms all the way around. His, his elbows bend about here, and his arms can turn all the way around like that. And uh, in terms of head articulation, I gotta move his, this little backpack piece right here. There we go. He can, okay, so he can move his head all the way around, and he can look up about that far and look down about that far. And, uh, in terms of leg articulation, they can kick out to this far, kick back that far, bend to here, pretty far actually. Uh, in terms of ankle articulation, it's two clicks, one here, and one there, so yeah, I can do that. Okay. So in terms of uh, transformation, we shall get down to it now. So, first things first, we're going to do here. You want to configure the arms. Hold on, move them right back. I got, I got a Ragnar, a Ragnar Knight right next to me. I move them right so in terms of articulation, we gotta take these arms and configure them, kind of like, kind of like this. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this whole entire cap section and kind of just untab them from the, from his, uh, from his back. So take these arms and basically. What we're gonna do, then we take these, bring them down like this. And then we're gonna take that and bam. Uh, also, make sure the wheels can move it while you're doing this, because that means you're transforming it correctly. Unlike the, the first time I tried recording this, where I did something wrong and I actually pressed the wrong button. Also, I do this, but I turn the head all the way around. So, yeah. 
Also, yeah, make sure to bring these arms out like this because it gives clearance to the cab. So, yeah. Wait. No, something's wrong here. No, oh, I did something right. No, oh, it's right. I just gotta fix it. So yeah, also make sure to make make sure to move the arms while you're doing this, for the wheels can roll again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah make sure to. Oh, yeah. Hold up. So let me fix some stuff here. And there, there we go. Also, yes, I forgot to mention this. So there's gonna be a little tab here that's gonna tab in to that slot right there on the side of his on the side of his uh, his uh on the side of him. So yeah, these are his arms are gonna tab into there, so make sure to you line everything up correctly. Maybe that's what I did wrong last time. Okay, so also configure the arms like this. And they'll tab into the so there's gonna be slots that they're gonna tab into like there there and right there. Sorry for not focusing. Uh, make sure to put the hands down like this. I do kind of don't, I do kind of, I, I kind of don't like how the hands are stored, but yeah, he is a kind of a small figure, so I can see why he's stored like this. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to tab the legs together. Yep, tab the legs together. There we go. And bring this panel down. It's going to snap in. So yeah, so some stuff, a lot of stuff is going to tab in. So there's going to be some panels that are going to tab into there and to the other spots. And then just snap it all together. There we go. And, yeah, hold up. I think some is not lined up correctly here. Okay, yep, after some fiddling with it, we're good. So, this is the truck mode. I do like this little truck mode. I always, I do like it. I do like it. He rolls uh, pretty weird, pretty finely. Here's a little truck mode. Now, uh, in terms of vehicle comparisons, I don't have anything transformed right now. So, I don't know. Uh... Warpath again? I don't know. Warpath, there you go, Warpath. There is Warpath. Compared to Huffer into vehicle mode. And, uh, a Bumblebee. There, I did it. Bumblebee. That tell you this compared to those two figures. Now, uh, in terms of gimmicks for this mode, so you can take the shield, here's the shield, and you can plug it in back here. It's gonna, it's gonna tab in with these, it's gonna plug in with these ports. Plug it in. Plug right there, and uh, so the gun it has a little little notch on the bottom of it. A little, a little notch. Let me focus on it. It's a little notch there. You gotta put your finger into. You gotta snap it, split in half. And so these, uh, so they're gonna, so the blah, blah. Let me get my English here. They're gonna basically, they're gonna tab into the slots on the side of the truck here. These new slots on the sides, they're gonna tab in. They're gonna. Hold up, let me focus here. Come on, focus. Focus, camera. Come on, camera, focus. Thank you. So they're going to tab in to here. And here. And back in, basically tab in there. And bam. So now he's like a little little bit of a pickup truck, which is cool. There he is. But, uh, there he is. There's a pickup truck. I do like this little gimmick. I do find it kind of cool and charming. So, let's get this guy transformed real quick. So, be right back. And that was my video review on Kingdom Hopper. Now, he's a good figure. I suggest, if you like the, if you like the Kingdom figures, he is an amazing figure. I suggest you pick him up if you can find him. Because uh, over here, where, where I am, uh, transforms are impossible to find. And I'm surprised this guy's even here. I can't even find a Galvatron anywhere. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I suggest you should pick him up if you... Yeah, he is paint. It's pretty good. Good paint. Uh, some complaints. A lot of hollow... A lot of hollow bits. That's really... That's a lot of hollow bits. And, uh... Well, maybe... Maybe a little bit of a... A boring... Kind of... A little bit of a weird character choice, in my opinion. But, hey. Whatever. It's about time I forgot a new figure, I guess. But yeah, I suggest picking him up if you if you like Hoffer. So yeah, that was my video review on uh, Kingdom Hoffer. This is the uh, Scarab Studio signing off. See you next time.